Why use a sprog pile as a hashing algorithm for mining? So you would need a pretty powerful GPU for this one because it's pretty intensive for the resources. And uh, it is ASIC resistant as well. So there is no way to mine with an ASIC. I googled the list of GPUs that are ProcPow friendly, but you can of course do your own research. I will leave some links to the like top rankings of GPUs um, in the description. So some NVIDIA GPUs that are known to be pretty good are RTX 3070, 3080, 3090, and 4090. And for AMD, that is 6800, 6900, and 7900 XTX. That was for the GPUs, and you'll also need at least 8 gigabytes of memory for the video card. And as for the node requirements, they are in the docs. So you will need pretty hefty requirements for the node. Um, that's a fast CPU with over 16 cores, 64 gigs of RAM, fast SSD with at least three terabytes of free space and a very fast download internet service. So that's likely going to be the main caveat for most people that are not going to be able to run their own node. However, if you have like Google Fiber or something like that, that could uh, work for you. If you actually do have a machine that's hefty enough to run a node or you have a server somewhere that you're renting, you can then rent a cloud GPU. There are several providers that Quai has partnered with. Those include Clore, Vast.ai, Akash, and at some point, Ionet. So I will show you in this video the example of Akash. However, there is also a written tutorial for Clore. And you can literally just use this uh, for Vast.ai because they're all very similar in how they work. Once your node is set up and you have your IP and your port is open, you can go ahead to your cloud provider. As I mentioned, there are multiple of them. So we can go ahead to Akash console and then we go into templates and in here we can find Quai in uh, mining with GPU. Click on Quai network and here you will click on deploy. Uh, you'll need to make sure that you already have an account. It was very easy. I just signed up with my email, but you can also sign up with your wallet. Depending on a cloud provider, they might ask you to use their own token to pay for the services. For example, Clore uses their Clore token to pay for that. However, Cash uses dollars as well, so that could be more convenient for some people. Once you create your account for Akash, you get a trial for $10, which is uh, uh, 10 credits to start mining. You, it is not much, but it is useful to, I guess, try things out and see, uh, feel things out how they work. Uh, once you go here, you need to go to the builder side. You don't need to change anything here. There are no specific re requirements for the CPU, so you can just leave it as one. GPUs, let's just leave it as one for an example, but you can literally put eight if you would like. But um, the higher the number, the like it may be more difficult or more time consuming to find the providers for you. Um, also, let's choose a specific GPU. I would like to use uh, NVIDIA, let's say 39 or whatever is here memory it is not specified so we can just use the defaults here you will need at least eight here uh, eight gigabytes and other than that there are no specific requirements so you can leave it as is the key things to configure here is the environment variables so it is very similar to how you would set up mining on your own machine so stratum ip is the stratum we just got uh, set up on our node machine so you paste in your ip the stratum port by default it is uh, 3333 so uh, if you didn't change it it's going to be like this for you as well and the platform it will depend on what G type of gpu you're using so because we are renting out an nvidia gpu and that seems to be the only ones that are available in a cache um, that is uh, set to be u however if you are using an uh, amd gpu that would be a g and that is all set up and clarified in the docs if you ever need to, to reference that I pasted in my IP and just clicked close. It is saved automatically. And then you can uh, click create deployment. And from that point on, you just click confirm and it leads me to this page. We have to wait for the bids or for the providers with their GPUs to come and say, yes, I will take that job and mine quite for you. And it may take some time. Right now, I've been waiting for a couple of minutes. It may be the case that they are not there. <laughs> so it, it says like there should be bids by now. Yeah, it just appeared. You can wait longer in case a bid shows up or close the deployment and try again with a different configuration. So for example, if I didn't find the 3090, I can confirm. 
and close my deployment and then probably choose a different GPU that could be more spread out. So we can actually go ahead and check the providers that are out there and see what GPUs are here. RTX 3090, there is one, H100, RTX 4090, and we see what which ones are out here. There are 19 GPUs, 4090s, so we can try with 4090s because as you can see there are quite a few. Since Akash took quite some time to find me a bidder for my GPUs, we can probably go ahead and I can show you Clore as well. But you can figure it out once you get a bidder, you just click to choose a provider and then you go ahead with the payment and it is all set up from there. Uh, once you go to Clore, the marketplace and everything looks pretty similar in the interface just with different colors. Uh, you need to log in or create your account, which is uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to create an account. So I just registered my account and here in the overview, you can see there are two options to, to top up your balance. Uh, one is BTC and the other one is Clore. You can get Clore from exchanges. Uh, I don't have any Clore right now, but it is pretty easy to deposit and withdraw. And I know it's pretty big marketplace that many people have used in the past, so I would trust this to not steal your money for now. But I cannot vouch for anything because I haven't used it myself long enough. So once you're on here, you just go back to the marketplace and you choose the GPU you would like. Honestly, I would just go back and choose the 4090 again. And I choose this GPU and I click rent. Also, basically, uh, take a note that it's shown is in USD because I chose to show it in USD, but you'll have to pay in Clore. Um, and it is much cheaper in comparison to other providers. Could be bad or could be good. There are, depending on providers, there are different ratings and some providers seem to be not as honest. I'm not sure how that works, but I heard of experiences of people that ordered a particular GPU, but they did not uh, seem to behave exactly like the G GPU that was described. And that was as if that GPU was kind of weaker. Uh, I'm not sure what's up with that. I'm pretty sure Clore is trying to do their due diligence, but let's just uh, go ahead and try to click rent from here and I will show you how to uh, set up your uh, image and everything for Kwai. So in here we have the custom image and the custom image is the same as we had already pre-filled in Akash and we can also take it from the Kwai docs. In the Kwai docs there is this Clore installation in the guides and we go ahead to the configure Clore instance and Kwai network go GPU minor run. We copy this and we go back to Clore and we paste it in the custom image in here. And that's the one we choose. There are several environment variables. So let's start with the port. We start with a stratum port. Um, the stratum port is going to be 3333. That's the default one. Um, the next one is going to be stratum uh, stratum IP. Um, that is going to be the same as in a cache. That is the IP of your node that we got. And then we are going to use the platform. Platform. Yeah, and then uh, I'll paste you because I'm going to use an NVIDIA GPU or at least I'm planning to. And that's basically it. Once you have the funds and you set it up like I showed, you're going to be good to go. Uh, the only, I guess, difficulty here is getting Clore to your account as you will need to use an exchange for that. But that's um, once you pass that, that should be pretty easy. That was a crash course into cloud mining. There are three main caveats with that. There could be not enough providers on a platform. In that case, you can go ahead and choose another platform. Second is uh, getting the exact uh, currency that's needed to pay for the services. However, you can figure that out if you have access to any exchanges. And the third caveat is uh, not many people have access to a node. So the node requirements, as I said, are pretty hefty right here for Quai Network. So in that case, if you don't have a node, but you have, for example, GPUs and a lot of hardware that you'd like to deploy, you can connect to a mining pool.